I'm going to tie a brewski. This is a fly eye design for Pyramid Lake and other lakes and other deep water applications. Um, where it needs to get down quick. What I have on the vise is a Gamagatsu B10S with a 1 8 inch bead on the front and a 3 16 inch bead on the back. And what I I put them on so that the the rears of the beads are touching each other. So that's the back of the bead and that's the back of the bead. Big holes and they just touch each other and come up the top there. I'm going to start with some uh, lead wire. Uh, 0 .020 and I'm going to do a dozen wraps of that. And oops. When you wrap this, you should be able to wrap it up inside that 3 16 inch bead so it goes up in the 8th inch bead. Like so. I'm going to take some UTC 140 in black for thread. I'm going to start it behind the, the lead there and start wrapping it down. Stop there for a minute so I can get my tail fibers ready, which is going to be pheasant tail. I'm going to take seven or eight, maybe ten pheasant tail fibers. And to use them for the tail, and I want them to be approximately uh, one half to a full shank length long. So measure those. Put in there. And now I'm going to bring it back a couple wraps because, for proportion purposes, I like to bring this back down part way down the bend, the hook, and then we'll bring it back up. And we'll wrap the pheasant tail all the way up the hook shank. Trim it, trim the butt ends of that. And now I'm going to tie in the copper wire which is small ultra wire in copper tie that down and then we'll take some I've got eight inches of um, D-rib in medium and with D-rib you got a round side and a flat side and you want the round side to touch the top of the hook and the flat side to be to not touch so it'll be at the top We'll tie that in on the top of the hook there. And we'll bring those all the way down to the end of the hook there where the tail starts. Okay, I'm bringing the thread back up to the head of the fly. And now I'm going to take some copper medium hollow tinsel again from UTC and I'm going to tie that in. I don't want to tie this in all the way to the back you can but I, I don't. Um, I like to leave where I estimate, estimate where a couple wraps of that ribbing is going to end so right about there I'm going to end it and I'm going to bring thread back to the head of the fly and I'm going to build a taper I'm filling that gap I've got going on. And then I'm going to start building up a taper here for the, ab for the abdomen. Now I'm going to take my D-rib and I'm going to start wrapping around the hook shank. And when I wrap it, it's going to naturally want to have the flat side uh, um, up against the shank, which is how I want it to go anyway. So I'll start wrapping. And remember, we don't want to wrap that tinsel in yet just yet. I'll put a couple wraps of this D-ribbing. 
It's right up against each other. Now, side, you just keep wrapping it around. Right up, butt it up against each other. Line it right there. Tie it down. And trim it. Okay. And now we'll take our tinsel and bring it up right along the top of the fly. And I'm going to take my copper wire and I'm going to wrap it around into the grooves of the D-ribbing. I'll tie that down. Okay. I'm going to take my copper wire and just umbrella that off. Okay. Wrap that, fold my tinsel back, start wrapping up to there. Now I'm going to take some more pheasant tail fibers. I'm going to grab about a dozen of them or so. I'm going to cut the tips of these pheasant tail fibers off. This is for the bottom part of the wing case. And we're going to just wrap them down like so, right on top of the fly. And we'll bring it back to about 30. 60% point. And I'm going to take some back there. At this point I'm going to take some dubbing. And I've uh, what I've done is I've mixed my own here. I've used some uh, green caddis ice dub and I mixed it with a package of Carp's Cohen Cohen dub. Excuse me. Cohen's Carp dub in uh, Martian Mean Green. And I just mixed one package of each. I got a little bit of a different tint with some rubber legs in it that I like. I'm going to wrap that around the hook shank. Eventually this thorax is going to be pretty robust, um, but for just, we still got tied legs into it, rubber legs, so we're just going to wrap it real quick around it. Just about like that. And now I'm going to take some, I've got our pumpkin silly legs, they're, excuse me, they're silly legs speckled pumpkin with green, orange, and black speckles in them. So it looks like it's got some glitter in it, which I think are really cool. I'm going to fold it in half. And then, at about the halfway point of the rubber legs at that point, I'm going to tie them in. Should be right in the middle there of the thorax. Take, do a couple wraps. I'm going to bring one side over to the other side. Perfect. And then we'll wrap some more dubbing around the thread and dub that center piece. Much. I'll pull a little bit off, and then the front, and then I'm going to pull this back. Put my pull my pheasant tail and flash through that, and I'm gonna pull the wing. Start pulling the wing case over. Like so 
Holy crap. Oh, put it in there. Make sure it looks good. Do wrap in front of it. Trim it. Then we're going to pull the flash over it. Hollow tinsel. Back over that. Wraps. Trim it. And now I'm going to take a little more dubbing here. A tiny bit. You don't need very much at all. Just put that thread there. To prepare this for the whip finish. Our whip finish tool. What I like to do is I like to grab my Sally hands as hard as nail or head cement, and I'm going to coat the thread with this just a little bit quarter inch, half inch, whatever. I'll be good to use it as a head cement to lock this thread in place and then I'm going to finish one more time with just a couple thread, a couple wraps of thread two, three, should be good now we'll trim it now the last thing I do from here is I like to put a little hot spot in between those two beads so what I've got is some UTC 70 fluorescent search chartreuse I'm going to take and wrap that right in between the two beads. We'll finish. Just kind of gives you a little hot spot there. I'm going to take my silly legs, bring them back, and I'm going to measure them. Don't pull on them, but you want to pull them to this point, but not pull on them. And then I'm going to measure them back to the back of the tail, and I'm going to trim them. I like this fly to have long legs. I think it gives a little more action to it. I'm going to take some clear cure goo with thick, from a bodkin. I'm going to coat that wing case. All the way to the bead. I'm going to take my light, blast it. This Kira Kira glue uh, thick, dries sticky, so I'm going to take a bodkin and I'm going to put some nail polish onto it, and that will take the stickiness away. And I'm also going to do that piece of flash right there on the abdomen. And there it is, the brewski. Thanks for watching this tutorial by Fish Baits Flybox. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like Fish Baits Flybox on Facebook, subscribe to Fish Baits Flybox, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you. Have a nice, have a nice night.